Hey, notice anything different about me? All right, so bad news. I lost my glasses. Like lost, lost, gone forever. The good news is I have a backup pair. The bad news is that backup pair is in fact sunglasses. Yeah. Best news though. That's free content, baby. Today I am trying to make art with sunglasses. I'm a professional illustrator, but I have never attempted to do this. I'm making it a portrait, and the portrait is of Josie, because he recently did a concert near me, but I wasn't able to get a ticket. Here's a live recreation of what that looked like. And since I think we can all agree that Hosey's got some major immortal vibes, I'm gonna try and lean into some of those Halloween-y themes for this by making a tarot card. I'm going to show my reaction at the end of the video when I take off the sunglasses, so you'll see how I react to what I've made then, so stick around. But first, I actually also lost my Apple Pencil when I lost my glasses. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate, but the end result is that I wound up getting a new tablet case and a new sort of pen grip thing. So let's take the old case off, put the new case on, put the new pencil grip on the pencil, which by the way, I very much like. It's very comfy and ergonomic and all of the other adjectives people like to use when referring to their pen grips or whatever. But now that that's all installed, let's get to drawing. And we're starting off with the main man himself. Why not start with the subject of the portrait? Well, don't start with the subject of the portrait if you want to do more with the composition and all that jazz, but you'll see me deal with the consequences of my own actions later. I'm using sort of a modified Riley head method currently to try and get Hosier all set up. Incidentally, if you don't enjoy watching somebody draw the same thing over and over and over again, you might not enjoy the sketching portion of this, and I'll provide a little timestamp in the corner so that you can skip the majority of it. Because, uh, records may show. I'm pretty face blind, so I actually have a really hard time getting likeness with people because I have trouble sort of absorbing and noticing their facial features and what makes them unique. So a lot of the time, my portraits will kind of look like other people. For example, this portrait, I think, spent a very long time kind of looking like Tom Hiddleston and then kind of looking a lot like Brian David Gilbert. So that's a little bit silly, I'll admit. It does eventually kind of look like Josie, though. You just gotta, you just gotta hang on for a while. I'll probably actually cut some of this out. We'll see how it goes. A bad habit I have is making the eyes too big. Made sure to fix that. I really like the Riley method because it sort of hints at some of the musculature underneath the face, like how some of the muscles connect from like the nose down to the chin and stuff like that. It makes it a little bit easier for me to figure out what's going on with it. And I am in fact using a picture of Hosier to make this. So before anybody says anything, uh, yes, I am using reference. I will say, looks way more like him once I added the beard. The basic hair was a little bit too boring, so I made it a little bit more smoke-like, more eldritch and floaty. I do tone this back a little bit in the future, but in the meantime, it looks pretty cool, I think. That's one of the eldritch type elements that I try adding in. The other is I made his eyes a little bit glowy, because why not? I did still want them to sort of appear blue though, because then for a bit, it started looking like uh, that guy from My Hero Academia, the guy with the weird goggles. It looked like him if the eyes were red, and I like knew it was gonna end up on somebody's like anime page or something, so I was trying to avoid that. A lot of people with floaty hair. Of course, once I made his hair brown later, that became way less of an issue. Currently, 
Since I'm just working in black and white, the sunglasses aren't that big of a problem. The real issue uh, comes in once I start coloring this thing. I did also have quite a bit of trouble with some of the darker values because everything looked a lot darker with the sunglasses on. So the hair is an example I struggled with a lot because I thought that it was it had more tones than it actually did. As you can see, it's sort of just a plain black blob. I'll fix that later, more or less. In order to A, get some color down quickly, and B, avoid the dangers of coloring without perfect color vision, I used a gradient map just to lay down sort of a bluish undertone to the skin and then popped in with a little bit of overlay to add some like pinks and warmer tones around the eyes, nose, and cheeks. I thought this was a very clever way of making the skin sort of pop and look great because I wanted it to appear like a very cold image. All right, this was the point where I spontaneously decided the best way to sort of organize this composition would be to make it sort of look like a tarot card. The sun, specifically, because I've had Josier's sunlight song stuck in my head for like a week. But yeah, I was having a couple of issues with the composition, so I did a late game composition workflow. Usually people do compositional thumbnails right at the beginning, but to that I say, never too late to think about the composition. So what I did was I made a copy of my painting of Josier and then just started adding elements in. I did this so I could essentially destroy the image and test things out without worrying about destroying my actual image. So you can see I'm testing out some things. I added some sunflowers because that's a very standard thing in the sun tarot card and then sort of experimented with the sun itself. I found that the rays that I put on the sun previously were a little bit too big, so I made a uh, sun with smaller rays, just so you could actually see the rays of the sun and the ring of the sun itself behind Hosier. Added some text. I really like this font. I think it's called Fog Lighten or something like that. So I'm popping in the background here. And then the sunflowers. I've never drawn sunflowers before, so I did spend a little while trying to figure out the best way to go about it. The trick to making sunflowers look like sunflowers as opposed to just uh, black-eyed Susans or yellow daisies, I found, was making the petals a bit more jagged. Sunflowers are actually kind of sharp looking, and they have all of these very thin petals layered on top of each other. So in the end, I just took an eraser and went around the edges and cut out little divots in the edges of the petals. I added a little bit of a red overlay to the whole thing because I thought it made the colors unify a bit more. And then it was actually time. I had gotten a new pair of glasses, <laughs> thank God, and decided, all right, let's do a little reveal and see how much I need to fix. And imagine my absolute surprise and delight when the only real problem was just that it was very red. Here's my reaction. New glasses. Right now let's see the damage. Wow. Okay. It's a lot more red than I thought it was. I kind of really like it though. I was worried I'd have to change a lot. These flowers definitely need to be, well, with the overlay layer on, it's not that bad, but I do have to change the tones of the flowers a little bit, but the portrait, spot on. Intense redness aside, I actually really, really like this piece. I think the resemblance is okay. I really like the brush shapes. I think that I made some very nice angular shapes with the brushwork on Josier's face. The colors I think are nice. I love a good symmetrical composition and I'm glad that Jose is not actually looking straight at the camera. I think that would have been too symmetrical. Overall, 10 out of 10 piece. The sunglasses did not actually cause me as much trouble as I thought they would, though that could be because for the majority of the piece, I was working in black and white, and then I kind of just popped color on top. Really the only area 
that I had a lot of trouble with was rendering the sunflowers and then trying to make everything look unified. That being said, I think I did an okay job. If you can, let me know what you think down below. Did I, did I do it? Does it look like the guy? I literally can't tell. Do you like the sunflowers? Would you like to see me do some more challenges? Are you excited for Halloween? Because boy howdy, I sure am. I've got some fun videos sort of lined up here and I hope that you'll stick around to find out what they are. If you can, consider subscribing. It means a lot to me, sort of gives me encouragement to keep going. And since I'm such a small little channel, every little bit super helps. I'm trying to get to 500 by the end of October. Peace out, have a good one, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.